Hello, welcome back to uh, the Alexandrian Codex. I'm Alex. That's real loud. That's real fucking loud. Yeah, yes, yes. Turn that down. This is uh, gotta be Fallout 3. We're hopping into Broken Steel DLC content now. And, you know, I'm feeling less urgently than I was last night when I was streaming this, but still it's going to be an objective just to clear through this as quickly as possible. Move on to streaming something else until at least the Fallout 3 series starts on YouTube. <laughs> I think it's not, uh, what is today? The, uh, it's not even September. Yeah. 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 The series hasn't even started to air on YouTube yet, which is fucking hilarious. The longest of backlog, so I'll switch over to something else and maybe come back to New Vegas in late September, early October maybe. Now I know October is when 76 is slated to launch, but if I'm being real with you, I have very little intention of playing that or streaming that. Maybe I'll play it to see how it is, but I'm going to wait until other folks <laughs> play it to, to jump in. I'm letting other people take the risk on that one. Mm -mm -mm. God, it's, it's been a gorgeous couple of days here in Seattle with the smoke gone. It's it's easy to forget just how beautiful of a city I live in, and I can't see the I can't see two blocks ahead of me. Now that I can, it's great. Well, well, look who's back amongst the living. I don't know you. Some of us were starting to wonder if you and Sarah were going to pull through. I don't know you. Uh, good to see you too. How, how, you're in charge now? Did I know Tristan? I guess I did. Here I am. Fair enough. Intel says the base on the other side of this tunnel is some kind of communications hub for the Enclave. Mm -hmm. The hope is that if we can crush them here, we can finally break their spirit. Not likely. Okay, I'm ready to go. All right. <laughs> you stay back with me and keep safe. Once we've reached the facility, we'll talk about who does what. Until then, we do this by the numbers. Same strategy has worked just fine for the last two weeks. Let's get moving. Things should be underway by now. Oh, come on. Walk with some urgency, it's been pretty dude. standard for the last week or so. We get intel on positions, go in and burn them out. Why don't you look where you're going? You know what? The tin can does most of the work, honestly. I can't complain, it keeps our casualties down. Scribes pulled information about this place day before yesterday. Some communications facility. Uh-huh. Why are we walking this slowly, Tristan? If I run ahead, will you run to keep up? We're thinking if it's active, we can find out who they're talking to and get the last of the locations nailed down. Please, after you. It's some kind of communications array. Let me just reiterate three or four times that this is a communications array. Why you even shoot at anything? I'm actually being shot at. Well, let's just step to the side. Communist threat assessment minimal. Scanning defenses. Structural weakness detected. Exploiting. Democracy. Doesn't everything have a structural weakness to being nuked? Warning. 
Warning. Red Chinese orbital strike imminent. All personnel should reach minimum safe distance immediately. You know, probably could have given that warning in a much more time effective manner, like catastrophic system failure. I don't know. Shouldn't talk ill of the dead. Shut down as per emergency initiative. Two, six, eight, two, two, zero, nine. I die so that democracy may live. We need to find out what the hell just happened. Uh, it seemed to get nuked There's from no orbit. There's no time to talk. Get your ass inside that base and help the troops locate the source of their transmission. Now, soldier, now! You mean... This transmitting array transmitted something? Really? Okay. I'm going. Be careful in there. Who knows what else they're going to throw at us. Nothing amazing. A Confederate drop will never fist and fall to confuse invasion. You tell him, buddy. You tell him. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> they can small talk in the background. Do, 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 do. Oh, okay, not that way. Now, at this point in the game, the most advanced armor I think we're supposed to have seen is the Tesla armor. Any of this Hellfire stuff is DLC content that really you should only start seeing right now. But because we ran through the entire game with an installed, got a bit of a sneak preview. Oh, they're on fire, running away. Come on, man. Hey, knock it off. <laughs> it's sadistic. Set him on fire, let him run around. Set him on fire, let him run around. Hell is with Jesus Christ Fallout 3 AI is fucking stupid. Let's just have three people running at each other, shooting at each other, locked in a corner together. <sighs> That's why I prefer sniping things in this game. At least it's somewhat believable when things keel over dead. Like this. Ah oh, yes, we have most advanced long-range weaponry in human history. What do we do? Run right up to each other and just use it at point-blank range. God, I can't wait to be done with the part where we're accompanied by Lion's Pride. Everyone's in power armor. Everyone's using high-tech weaponry. At a certain point, if everyone has something, it's it's no longer remarkable. It's no longer cool. Like you you've gone far far off the deep end. Like, oh well, you have power armor. Well, I have slightly more powerful power armor. It's it's uh, Gundam syndrome, right? The the original mobile suit. Cool as hell first time you see it on screen like fuck yeah that's awesome and then it's like well this mobile suit's better than that mobile suit I'm like oh, okay i mean i was impressed the first time you don't have to keep going and oh no but the the mobile suit mark three is even cooler I'm like okay and this one has wings and uh, okay i get it and it's just at a certain point escalation is it may be sustainable but it no longer has the the oomph the impact that it once had. It's easy for audiences to get faded or get used to something. 
humanity has great capacity for slowly, but surely, adjusting to new normals. Quite an adaptive little species. I mean, granted, we biologically have our limits, but it's quite telling that we moved from one ecosystem to another, slowly taking over the planet like a plague. Well, you know, like a plague is, uh, has some unnecessary connotation to it, like any sort of exponentially growing biological matter. Target acquired. Or, you know, I suppose inorganic matter might like do the same thing. We expand! We adapt, we overcome, we expand again. So you gotta come up with new stuff, like the Stealth Tech. Stealth Tech is a pretty cool... Uh, you know, not replacement for power armor, but... It's a cool counter, right? Because it doesn't matter how much you can get hit if you never get hit at all. But the entire point of power armor is the T-51B is supposed to be rare. The T-45 is supposed to be rare. T-60 is supposed to be, like, really rare. The Enclave armor is supposed to be, like, impossibly rare. And then the Hellfire armor, or the Tesla armor, is supposed to be obscenely rare. Yet walking down this hallway, or walking through this building, I've seen at least half a dozen people with Hellfire armor. Unless the Enclave is producing these, we've seen hundreds of suits of power armor on screen. Where the hell were these stores? Raven Rock isn't that big. And the, the quantity that we see in the pre-war simulation in the Alaskan campaign, there's like a dozen, maybe a baker's dozen <laughs> that we see on the front line. And if that was pre-war, the greatest accumulation of power armor, I I find it confusing to see entire armies outfitted with power armor, unless it was produced after the war. Now, the lore behind the Enclave armor is that it is post-war tech, and the Hellfire armor is that it's post-war tech, and the X-01 is post-war tech? or late pre-war, early post-war tech. What I want to see are the, the manufacturing facilities for power armor, and actually there's a, there's a mod for Fallout 4 that lets you join the Enclave and rebuild the Enclave, and there's a really good scene in there where they open up a bunker that just has hundreds and thousands of suits of power armor. Like, oh, okay, so this is how you're outfitting your army. Really small moments like that are particularly important for me in terms of world building as establishing where the fuck these guns are coming from. Download telemetry data. Ah, yes, 0001 six. No, I'm not reading that. Server uplink. Like, it's, it's established pretty clearly, pretty early on, that out in the wasteland, they don't make medicine the way they used to. So it should be obscenely rare that water is really hard to come by, so it should be obscenely rare, and etc, etc, just for everything under the sun. Yet merchants seem to just stock up on those supplies, no problem, and any Tom, Dick, or Harry that you kill out in the wasteland has a fully maintained assault rifle. I'd, I'd actually like to see a harsher interpretation or harsher adaptation of Fallout where it's actually difficult to maintain power armor and energy weapons and assault rifles and advanced weaponry. That you have to invest time and resources and hell tedium to maintain because advanced technology is quite tedious to maintain and quite expensive to maintain. It requires an entire industrial complex designed and built around 
these technologies to support them. Or at least expertise resulting from that that uh, industry and infrastructure. The, the horror of a post-apocalyptic or an apocalyptic setting is the collapse of industry, the collapse of infrastructure, the collapse of our ability to maintain and reproduce from day to day what we take for granted. And having... Wait, okay, okay, our introduction to the Citadel. The Citadel, as we understand it, when we first see it, is the most technologically placed the advanced place in the wilderness, er, in the wasteland, and they talk about whoa, whoa, whoa! We can't just give you power armor. You have to be a knight to be to have power armor. All these initiates, they don't get their power armor yet. So you would assume it's a little choosy, and they are rare. And then you start running into the enclave, and they drop power armor like it's fucking candy. The enclave, I feel like, should should have. Absolutely, people in Enclave armor, but they should have the equivalent of initiates presence, out there in Enclave power, or, uh, combat armor and stuff like that. Because it's very easy to, to oversaturate. Oversaturate a player with cool stuff to the point where it's not cool anymore, and anything before is just stupid and unnecessary. What do you mean you're not wearing power armor all the time? What do you mean you're not wearing the best power armor all the time? Why even bother? Are you in here? You honor us with your presence here. Rockchild. I just... I can't believe it! All those years of work, all of it! For what? One botched operation? That's how it goes, man. I'm still waiting on the debriefing from Tristan, but... I'm not sure it even matters. With Prime gone... They could have attacked the Citadel. Well, there's certainly nothing stopping them from doing that now, is there? Well, like the, the giant robot was stopping gone, them? I don't know what we can do to stop them. I need more to work with. Yeah, I got some encrypted data. Ah, yes. Well, I'll see if we can't figure out how to read it. Perhaps it can give us some insight as to just what happened out there. It would be good to salvage something from this mess. Thank you for bringing this to me. Mm -hmm. I believe Elder Lyons will want to speak with you as well. Perhaps you should find him. Ah, uh, wherever... Where or oh, where could Elder Lyons be? With Found him. Child. I hope he can make some headway with the data you've recovered. You just with our to that primary weapon huh? destroyed, we risk losing our momentum and jeopardizing the entire campaign. I'm your I primary must, weapon. I now wonder whether moving ahead with this operation was an error in judgment. No one knew. And yet, here we are. Discounting the fact that our best field commander is in a coma, and I personal feelings for my daughter, things have not gone well. If we fail now, we could lose everything. Well, we can't back down now. Very true. And to that end, I'd like you to speak with Paladin Tristan. He's requested you for a special assignment. One that could prove vital to our success. You get it, buddy. Okie doke. Still be with you. Okay, weird, weird thing to say. Ah, death from above. Shock value. Wait, these multiple quests? No. Speak with Paladin Tristan. Tristan? Scribe Bowditch, I trust you are well. I'm here for your progress report on the modified recon armor. Ah, you're a bit early today, sir. Regardless, I'm happy to report that the development of the Mark II recon armored unit is proceeding as planned. Excellent. I'm a bit concerned, though. Last week, you mentioned a possible delay in the secondary modifications. I'm afraid that there may be a delay, sir. So far, I haven't been able to salvage a felulator unit from the parts that we have on hand. <laughs> of course, a felulator you unit. Do, Bowditch. You always do. Yes, sir. Actually, perhaps I can fashion one out of... Hmm, if you'll excuse me, sir, I have to jot something down before I forget. Can I be of assistance? Yeah, what's this about new recon armor? 
Oh, can you repair my equipment? I suppose that I Ooh. Well, you can. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Why not? The compass is doing that ever so lovely and not at all frustrating thing where it's pointing at something and then floating around once I get close to it. See, it's just spinning around. I'm assuming this means go outside. Okay, world map. Can I can I see where he is on the world map? He's outside the citadel. It's seeming to point in here. Maybe. Seems really unnecessary to call the water aqua pura when you could just call it pure water or clean water or I don't know water. Damn. That branding is important. Nice work back there. Let's hope the scribes can do something useful with the information you retrieved. I have a permanent scowl on my to face. Sit around and wait for the analysis. Uh -huh. Based on what I've seen of you so far, there's an assignment I believe you're well suited for. Protagonist. Yeah, I got it. I hope that's true. With all of the Brotherhood's resources committed to protecting against an enclave attack, we're spread thin. Mm -hmm. So thin that we can't spare anyone to research a new weapon that might help us against the enclave's vertebrates. At least, until now. From information we've gathered, it seems what we need may be located in the old oh, works. I have to Vessel. go to Old Oni. Okay, yeah. You want me to... Yep, sure. I need you to go there, and quickly. That's the best chance to locate a key piece right. of experimental equipment called a Tesla coil. <laughs> Tesla coil. We've gathered yeah, man, Tesla coil is the for one. Been for what the scribes are cooking up. thing since the it's late 1800s. Essential. If you can find one, get it back here right away. We don't have it's much time. Very advanced technology. A guy called Nikola invented it a long, long fucking time ago. Check with Scribe Valancourt. She's been researching some of the Enclave technology we've recovered. From what I understand, she may have come up with something. Really? That Valancourt. What you got? Is this the way to the lab? Valancourt, what did you find? Is this a way to turn the death claws on one another? Please, God, let this be death claw mind control. Valen, is she upstairs? Oh, she's upstairs. Need something, friend? Please be in the mess hall. Be in the mess hall. Be in the mess hall. Be in the. Hey. I'm still very, very busy. Is this important, or can it wait? It's very important. Well, maybe. I mean, possibly. I think so, but I'm not certain. You're, I don't you're know really how much this will actually help. Inspiring. Me. I mean, I'm not quite sure. Oh my sure, god, yeah, what? But I think I've figured out a way to override the signals the Enclave is using to control their death claws. You mean shoot the thing on their heads? Here, take this. Oh. Death claw control scrambler. All right, cool. All right. I, I have to go now. It's just, just read this and read this, even though it's not really all that important. Control scramble. Okay, so I'm assuming that will just automatically work when relevant. Okay, buddy. Super mutants. Like, like, Enclave are running around with. Everyone has at least one plasma rifle, one plasma pistol, probably a fucking laser minigun, and the Brotherhood walking around with assault rifles. Either way, where the fuck is this shit being produced? I'll get off of this. I'll get off of it. It's just weird. I understand for the sake of narrative and character progression that it's helpful to have, but it's also quite odd. Excuse me? No, thank you. Yeah, we're walking kind of slow, aren't we? Yeah, we are walking slowly. Let's, uh... Let's hold that better. 
I don't know. That that difference might be entirely in my head, but if it is, I can live with it. I can live with it. Are they up there? The aura of light that just seems to surround us confuses the hell out of me. I'm like, do I have my light on? Do I not have my light on? Truth is, I don't have my light on, it just looks like I do. Just the game is very generous in trying to provide the player lighting. Though that generosity can be confusing. So I guess what I'm supposed to do is let you out of the cage, demonstrate that I can turn you, right? Sure, let's do that then. Hello. Yep, do you follow me? Or do you just... Go rogue? Well, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell! Security breach. The president's dead. <laughs> the president's been dead. Okay, so now I just have the pet death claw. Is that what's happening here? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, whatever. I mean, cool. Did... <laughs> I have a pet flying death claw, no less. Oh yeah, just Q is over dead. Cool, cool, very helpful. I'd say, well, I can use the alien blaster. You know, I have 300 shots. Am I gonna be killing that many super mutant? Yeah, I'm probably going to use this. Old Oni also has the medic power armor down in the sewers. I'm not getting it. I can't. I couldn't put it to good use even if I wanted to. Though the game might make us run across it, we'll find out. This is actually a horrifying part of the game if you don't have the most overpowered weapon on you. Especially if you end up here early game somehow. This shit is terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. What the? Hi, Wynn. How the hell did you get in here, smooth skin? Yeah, one step at a time, buddy. Looking for the power works. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure thing. Uh, just right through here. Only there's a few death claws down here that might have other ideas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm not afraid of Yeah? Well, then you're stupid. Where do you think they're all coming from, huh? Goddamn nest down here. Okay. Take it from me, kid. You stay down here, you're gonna die. You're down here, you haven't died. Funeral, right? Me and kid, we're getting out of here. Figure the way you came's gotta be pretty clear if you're still alive. Okay, what necessary and important characters? You should leave. We're gonna leave. Okay, okay, cool. Why? Why the hell were those NPCs included? Are they a reference to something? Is it just filler trying to give this more of a feel to it? I guess. How would it, okay, for how would I know that this person's name is Dunbar? And how would I know that this person's name is Carl? Presumably, this is just a series of references that I'm not getting. Let's 
very loud. It made it sound like it was behind me, not in front of me. Oh right, it's a hospital. I remember this stupid place. Ah, oh, god, yeah, this is not one of my favorite places in the game. Generally, collapsed buildings are, they're kind of cool, but more than that, they're just tedious because, oh, I'm going to go down this hallway. It's caved in. Okay, well, then I'll go up and go around. That's also caved in. Well, you had to come from somewhere. Unless I just went up before unknowingly. Welcome map, what do you have? I'm supposed to go straight through here. There we go. Do, 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 do. Presumably I drop. Yep. All the way down. <laughs> Just moving on, moving on through. Hello. Uh, a hell of a jump colliding with the ceiling like that. Good job. This is not where I wanted to go. Is there anything in here? Mm, yep. <laughs> there there sure is. Do I want or need any of it? Nah. I'm still a little sad that I never did find the alien blaster in Fallout 2. Now that I'm looking back at it, us in full power armor running around with an alien blaster not using anything else, that is how the first Fallout game went, and that's more or less how Fallout 2 went. So Fallout 3, following in those footsteps, shouldn't, shouldn't be so unprecedented. I actually like it a lot less, the, the alien blaster in Fallout 3 and in New Vegas and 4, because it just feels cheaty to me. But in 1 and in 2, if I had gotten it, it feels cheaty, but it feels earned at that point. I, the distinction is not real and it's completely value judgment, but still. Okay, so I'm cutting through this building, presumably. Yep, looks like I'm going the right way. Looks like that doesn't turn the right way. I could fight these people. Yeah, yeah, or... I could just keep shooting their gun over and over. That's cool, too. Okay, so where I want to be is... either above or below me. Take that, take that. Why am I even moving things anymore? I don't, I don't need anything that they have. Fallout 4 actually does a pretty good job of fighting the uh, the late game like, oh, I have too much of everything syndrome. You know, it doesn't do a perfect job because ultimately that's a battle the game can't win. Not, not really. But by introducing settlements as something you will want to upgrade and iterate on and build more things in and introducing companions that you want to outfit and more than the companions, because there are companions in this game, I've just blown past them because they're kind of unremarkable. Except for, except for Fox, but the game glitched and thought we weren't a nice enough person, even though we've been doing good things since the game started. Uh, all of those additional, like, ooh, uh, resource sinks, basically, that the game introduces really help to prolong the feeling of need or shortage or you know a lack of excess it's quite nice disappearing okay it's none with an ing l a b a o r t r i okay it's not any r i e s it's not any i e s 
probably not any... I am... Let's try that. Well, that's closer. Is it an ION? It's not an ION. It's not an ION. Conspirators. C-O-N-S-P-I-R-A-T-O-R-S. The T is the same. All right. Anticipating. Didn't think so. Loudspeakers. Not technologies. Nope. Disappearing? Probably not. Nope. <laughs> Announcement. So, immaculately conversation. It's a fun game. Don't get me wrong. The hacking minigame is fun and creative, but at a certain point, it's just easier to exit, re-enter, exit, re-enter, exit, re-enter. Civilization. S-C-I-V-I-L-I-Z-A-T-I-O-N. Nope. I-O-N. 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 P-A-R-T-N-E-R-S-H-I-P-S. That's only one in common. A-N-T-I-C-I-P-A-T-I. -I -I -I. Nope. Resurrection. R-E-S-U-R-R-E-C-T-I. O-N, right, it's T-I-O-N. Shouldn't know that. S-U-B-T-E-R-R-A-N-E-A-N. A-N-E-A-N, that's two. Yep. Open the door. Thank you. Now, the, the gun we're about to get, the Tesla cannon, is... Legit one of my favorite things in the game. I actually forgot it was in this game. For some reason I thought it was only in New Vegas. It's kind of silly that these little Tesla coils would still be working after so long. Tesla coils are cool. Cool little things. They, uh... Unless you do some pretty crazy stuff, are not actually dangerous, despite looking horrifying. So we pick up the Tesla can and the Enclave shows up and we have to shoot our way out of here, is that right? That sounds about right. Reclaimed, dissipates, associates, oh. advantages. There we go. Trigger, machine, fail safe. Power down. Oh fuck, right, there's alien power cells in here. <laughs> I forgot. This is one of the few places in the game that actually has alien power cells. In here, I know. See, now I'm interested. You got me. You got your hook in me. You got your claw in me. So to speak, it might have just been a few rounds of ammunition down there, I think. What's in here? What's this? What's this little... What is this? Is this the exit? That's a dead end. What the hell are these? Is an arrow going up? It's showing one of these little quake ground pieces? Is this here? I have no idea what that is. Maybe it's trying to refer you to where something is hidden or it's supposed to look like something else? I don't know. It's for very small children. Who knows? Come on. Shit. Okay, it was lined up right here. Stop. 
an exit? Is this an alternate entrance? What did I stumble across here? Holy shit, that's irradiated. <laughs> that's very irradiated. Okay, we'll just quick save right here. We'll stim pack. Give me one of these and one of those. And another one of those. No, 85% the size it's gonna get. Cool, cool, cool. Move, 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 move. This House of Cards, or House of Metro Tickets, survived a nuclear bomb. But it won't survive me. This is like an alternative entrance? I am, I am absolutely confused. Or this is probably the exit. This is probably the exit route that I'm just running through right now. Yeah, it's looking like it. Them. Interesting area. Huh. Maybe if you're unable to pick through that door, this is an alternative. Maybe. It might just be that that whole route we just went through is in case your computer skill isn't high enough to get through here. I suppose. At a certain point, it seems to me that the game starts assuming that you can pick locks and that you can get through shit, even if you may not be able to. I've never tried to play through Fallout 3 without ever picking a lock or hacking a terminal? I don't think it's possible. But it may be. My knowledge of this game is far from... far from absolute. Right, we're back in this hallway again. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. But where I want to go is, like, right here. So I go in here, grab this, test with coil added, happy day, and then we get the hell out of here. Yeah. Just exit right here. <laughs> so it was totally unnecessary to go through that other half. The game showed me alien blaster ammo and I fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. Come on. Well, I'm hidden. Can I quick travel? Please, sir. May may I quick travel? It's not fast travel when alien <laughs> aliens when aliens are nearby. Enemies are nearby. Keep going a little bit. Going. Ah, oh, it's a shame we never ran into. Oh god, uh, the, the guy with Herbert in his head, uh, the ghoul turned into a tree. Yeah, he's in this game. What the fuck is his name? I can't remember. I don't really get why he is in this, or why the trees regrowing are a thing. I, it's kinda cool. But the game has about twice as much content as it needs to have. Because at a certain point, you just run out of motivations, right? Is my motivation loot? Because I'm already filthy rich. Is my motivation experience? Because I'm already at max level. Is my motivation finding skill books? Because my skills are really the ones I care about are already maxed out. Is it just finding everything on the map? Okay, but then I just run through places, mark them off. The, the stories aren't... You found a gripping world? enough. Excellent. I'll see to it that this reaches the scribes immediately. That's what coils are like so easy to make, soldier. though, my dude. 
Are you ready for your next? Yeah, yeah. What's next? Based on the data you brought us from the relay station, we've identified where the Enclave is basing their operation. An Air Force. It seems base. they have a second base of operations at Adams Air Force Base outside of DC. Mm -hmm. The only safe way to get there is through the presidential metro used by the government before the war. And that's crawling You're with You're going fools. to be on your own again for now. The rest of the Brotherhood will be providing a distraction so you can slip in undetected. Perfect. Once you breach the presidential. Yeah, 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 go, go, go do that, got it, shock value, okay, can I get that done in 15 minutes, I'm gonna find out, we're gonna find out, so, Georgetown North to the White House Plaza, oh, I might be able to get to the metro by the time 15 minutes is up, maybe, Bring on the overleveled ghouls. Hockey Bottom Station, is this one super mutants or is it ghouls? Raiders? Viewer? What do we got? Might be raiders. Because it's very empty right now. Let's find out. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Peace, whoever that was. I had some shit to do. Yeah, ghouls, judging by that. Yep, I was gonna say judging by the lighting and the smoke. This is a ghoul tunnel. Just a leisure we walk through places I've been through a long, long time ago. Who that? Who's that? I mean, it's not. That just like a rat roach or something? Oh! That's a Protectron! Huh? How about that? <laughs> I guess I should have remembered that. Mm -hmm. <sighs> ba, ba, ba. There's a lot of... The subway system being sort of a quick travel or a fast travel system, neat idea. The subway being the only way that you can get from A to B, fucking horrible idea. Torture. It's absolute torture. Because it's not intuitive where line A or line B or whatever goes. And I guess maybe that's part of the design, right? When you first go to a major city, if you're not familiar with their mass transit system, it does feel arbitrary and confusing, but good mass transit systems are designed to be intuitive. The mass transit system in DC, surviving the end of the world, not so intuitive. I prefer to just be able to crawl over these big old fallen buildings. Rather than them being arbitrarily too much. Oh, so there's a lot in here. <laughs> if we still needed XP, this would be a great opportunity to explore. If I still cared about money, this would be a great opportunity to explore, etc, etc, etc. But I'm good. Is this Enclave we're coming up on? No, maybe the Brotherhood. That's the go. Yeah, how about you don't do that? Thank you. Hey, what's up? Yeah, good to see you too. <laughs> Oh, hey. Everything's above board. <laughs> Doesn't really need to be above board. Ah, okay, yep. Utility tunnel. This goes into the White House. Right? Am I going the right way in here? It's been a long time since I've done this. Now, the, the White House, presumably, 
and I think this is a matter of fact, not just presumably, does have escape tunnels. But, <laughs> in the making of this game, naturally the, the game developers were not privy to the exact layout of those tunnels of the presidential metro escape tunnel. It's a very, very cool idea. I, I remember being quite enraptured with the thought of there being a whole underground world underneath what we're used to seeing and experiencing, what we take for granted. Granted. And that was quite captivating. I still find that quite cool. I really like urban exploration when it comes to exploring old subway systems or tunnel systems. One of the, uh, if I ever get to go to Paris, I am not going to the fucking Eiffel Tower, I'm going to the underground. That is way more exciting in my mind. Crypts and burial vaults and yeah, yeah. Subterranean structures are dope. I love caves. I love spelunking. I love cave diving. Which is innuendo, but not just innuendo. It's really a lot of fun. Alright, here's the metro. I guess I have to turn it on, right? No, right, right, right. We don't turn it on. We just walk through the entire goddamn thing. Yeah. Robots, I, I guess uh, the idea is that the bots down here are powered via, you know, in the same microfusion cells that everything else is powered by, and that presumably those can survive for an extended period of time. The Senate luncheon on October 31st has been indefinitely postponed. You don't say! I don't think I ever had subtitles on when I came through here. I do not remember any of these uh, announcements. Security breach. This system is on code red. Alert status. Prepare for security check. Attempting to identify local access user. Identification failed. This access point is restricted only to authorized personnel. Please identify yourself. Override security parameters, assign current user highest clearance. Man, if only it were that easy. Please stand by. Override accepted. Clearance assigned. How may I assist you today? Could you repair the train to Adams Air Force Base? Negative. Repairs are currently impossible on the Adams Air Force Base train line. If the security breach is nullified, I will return to green status and allow the Sentinel unit to commence repairs. Tell me about the security breach. Information is available on that subject. Please specify. What's it about? Internal visual sensing equipment is detecting numerous... Yeah, uh, ghouls, ghouls. It's ghouls. You talk so slowly. Oh my god. Uh... What security units did you send in to stop the unidentified persons? Large number of mechanical... So 22 far. have been depleted. Uh... Have to go? Rise personnel will not be tolerated. Welcome back. Isn't there something else I should be... Need information on Adams Air Force Base? How many forces are at the base? Tunnels to the base? How do I use tunnels to get to the base? Yeah, you, you go through the tunnel. What are... These are very stupid questions. We are not deactivating the security units. 
What's your name stand for? Uh, Metro okay. Authority of Rapid. Okay, what's your job down here? It's to. What do you mean, what's your question down here? <laughs> what's your question down here? Job down here. It's pretty clear. Yep, okay. Talking to an automated system about it doing a good job for being automated. I think I come through here and be cool now, right? Yeah, all right, thought so. All right, I think we keep going. <laughs> if you want to stop me, you're welcome to try. I got an appointment I gotta make. Very important appointment. Can't be late. No, see, you don't seem to understand. I have an appointment that I need to make. Got like four minutes to make it to Adams Air Force Base. Sir, sir. My time is very valuable. Hold on, just let me reload at you. I did that to get my action points back. Oh, they're falling, they're literally falling through the ceiling. Okay. Did I pick the wrong way? Oh, yeah, you, you bet your ass I did. <laughs> I just ran to their spawn point. Yeah, alright, alright, fair enough. See, I've made a mistake here. Oh my god, this is tedious. Wait, that was... That doorway in front of me is where I want to be going. Whoever designed the Feral Ghoul Reaver, fuck you. It's a resource thing. It's... it is. The intention of the Reaver is to be especially hard to kill, so it takes more ammo, so that even if you have good weapons, you're still scrounging for ammo to try to reach back and harken back to the first couple of hours of gameplay where you're really struggling to make it by. I get it. It doesn't work, though. It doesn't work. It's just tedious turning everything into bullet sponges. The player's ability to procure resources is much more developed by this point in the game. It's train time. Choo choo. Well, you know, 59, 59 minutes, 35 seconds. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, that's live. Recording 58 minutes. We'll just uh, put in a save here. Go ahead and put in a cut here. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm going to keep streaming. I'm going to take a quick break, though. If you're watching this on YouTube, this is it for today. Thanks for hanging out. Until tomorrow, I'm going to have to say make sure to comment, share, like, subscribe, all that silly shenanigans. Toodaloo. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.